Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to talk about a new service that was announced on reInvent 2022. That is AWS Glue uh, Data Quality. You heard it correct, Data Quality. This is one of the most important part that most of the data engineers were looking for. Data engineers, ETL developers, data quality, right? We want to check how good the data is. So what is data quality? And let's take a look at a small demo. So let's get started with this uh, video. AWS Clue, as you can see, this was announced on November 30. That is roughly three, four days back. AWS Clue announces a preview of AWS Clue data quality, a new capability that automatically measures and monitors data lake and data pipeline quality. AWS Glue is a serverless scalable data integration service that makes it more efficient to discover, prepare, move, and integrate data from multiple sources. Managing data quality is a manual and a time consuming. You must set up data quality rules and validate your data against these rules on recurring basis. Also writing code to set up alerts when the quality deteriorates. Analyst must manually analyze the data, write rules and then write code to implement these rules. AWS Glue data quality automatically analyzes your data, gather uh, data statistics, uh, data statistics. It then recommends the data quality rules to get started. You can update the recommended rule or add new rules uh, using provided data quality rules. So let me show you a demo. Hopefully this will make sense. Okay. I have a nice demo for you. I have a glue database called MyDB. And again, just for a hello world, I have a simple table called data, right? Uh, the columns are pretty straightforward. ID, first name, last name, address, text, city, state, right? So again, your normal, you know, normal data in the data lake, right? So again, I can query this data using Athena. Same thing, EC, right? Uh, I can come here. I can say select star from our data. And I, I, can, I can see my data, great. Now, what is this feature, man? So basically, anytime your basically a data quality rule does not match now what do i mean by that for example let's say a column must exist right that's a that's a rule that you define right so let's say a column name uh, should exist and it has to be between character 6 and 13 right it cannot be more than that cannot be less than that that's a rule right that's a rule for your data quality so you can define this multiple rules essentially and anytime the rule fails uh, you can mark the job as failed i'll show you a small demo so how do you get started? I can show you the, this on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a glue job. So I can show you by clicking on a job section, right? I already did that in the past. I can click on create and then I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna read the data from the catalog. So I'm gonna say source, okay? I'm gonna say my DB. I'm gonna read the data from my data catalog that is over here, right? Now here, if you search, you can search for data quality. Uh, was it data? Yeah, evaluate data quality. Uh, you can click here. Uh, node properties i'm gonna select the previous parent node okay and now we need to configure this so observe what uh, uh, hopefully you guys can see so here you can see column count column correlation column exist right you can add as many rules as you want right so uh what i'll do is uh, let me actually remove this i'm gonna apply a transformation and then i'm gonna apply um so i'm gonna say apply mapping okay click uh, here and then i'm gonna add the data quality Evaluate data quality. Okay, I'm gonna select uh, the node, right? And then over here, I'll select the, the rules that I want. For example, I know there's a column called ID, right? So I'm gonna say column exist here, you can see, and I can put in the name. So for example, ID, right? I wanna make sure that the column name ID exists, right? You can also choose like, uh, for example, completeness. So you can come and read here check the percentage of completeness, non-null values in a given column, right? So you can essentially define multiple rules, right? Is it unique? Is it primary key? Is it complete? All that stuff you can define here, right? So again, I'm just gonna select column uh, exist as an ID. You can add as many uh, rules as you want from the dropdown, right? Pretty straightforward. Now here you can see data quality actions. So this means what do you wanna do when, you know, the rule doesn't match or stuff, for example, I'm saying, fail the job when the data quality fails. So I wanna fail my glue job when, you know, uh, the any of the rule doesn't match, right? And publish the result to the CloudWatch. If I wanna publish, you can publish. Um, uh, here, I'll leave everything else to the default. And um, of course, then uh, you can come to the script section. Now here you can see automatically, glue has proposed a script for us. And observe carefully, here is our rule, the string rule. 
Here it takes a glue data frame and essentially take the rules. It was gonna evaluate and then we are doing an assert statement here. So we are saying lambda, observe this, this is a data frame using dot filter lambda x x outcome so check for the outcome where it is failed and do a count if the count is, is equal to equal to zero right um, you know if it is not equal to zero which means uh, there are more failed items right if that makes sense right and if it is equal to equal to zero again you got the idea right the job has failed due to failing data quality rules for node blah 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 xyz right so now essentially you can do all the data quality checks right so that is something uh, AWS has very recently announced. Um, also, you can uh, get a recommendation. So for example, I did one here. So you can come here and say recommended rule. I can come here and say RS1. Kind of select the glue uh, role. Uh, this one, I'll leave that to default and I'm gonna say recommend. So now what's gonna happen is, uh, you know, uh, now it's gonna recommend us uh, various rules that we can use, right? Of course, you can add rules, you can delete rules from that, right? This is simply mere a recommendation, right? Uh, so we'll refresh. This might take about a second or two. Again, it's in the running state, as you can see. I'm gonna zoom in. Still in the running state. Once this is complete, uh, we should see some of the recommended rules by AWS are, you know, you can add it, you can remove them uh, based on your needs, um, for sure. Uh, again, it's still running. I'll, let me show you if I can show you the previous ones. I'll click here. So here you can see, you know, is completeness, first name, row count between five and 20, column length, right? Uh, first name between two and nine characters, right? So you basically you can define a bunch of rules, right? That's basically what it's trying to say, right? So if I click here, it's running. And again, now you you maybe uh, if you want you can use um, you know uh, data quality rules. So basically, whenever the particular rule set doesn't match, you can essentially fail the job, right? That's basically what you can do, right? So again, very recently announced. Uh, again, it's completed, and if you can click here, and here you can see these are the rules that it recommends, right? ID is a 36, you know, um, I guess character long, right? 95% it's unique uh, uniqueness has to be greater than 95% if I refresh here and here you can see I have rule you can also attach multiple uh, rules here right it's totally um, all right to do that right um, that's pretty much it this is something that they have announced and I just wanted to bring it to your attention and I feel it's a pretty good uh, feature that a lot of uh, data engineers are gonna love it's in a preview mode um, currently and it was announced on November 30 2022 let me know your thoughts on basically AWS Glue data quality. Again, very recently announced. Um, uh, again, I, I was I, I was trying I was trying it out. It's pretty good. I, I really loved it. Um, now, upcoming uh, next videos, we're gonna explore uh, Glue for ray processing. Something they have also recently announced. So again, not going too too much detail on this video at least. Uh, so if you come here to the job section. Here you can see Ray Scripts Editor. So this is a new feature that they have announced. I'm gonna explore that in the upcoming videos, okay? Uh, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, please put your question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video, guys.